when you don't have a real positioning, you are going to struggle in your business. And in the market, your clients will only see you as a price tag. They'll compare your price with the competitor's price. And if you have no positioning, then they're just going to pick the cheapest price. You have got to create positioning that allows them to see you in a different light. They perceive the value in what you have to offer, in your product, in your service. There are millions of businesses out there. And my attitude is absolutely one of abundance. Just because somebody has a fence company out there doesn't mean that you can't also start a fence company. You can start a fence company, but you have got to position yourself in a way that people understand why your fence company is different than the comp competition. Every person should be able to do what they love because each person is unique. It doesn't matter what your, if you have a fence company, you're creating a company that someone else has. Create a unique selling proposition that is different than someone else. Because if you don't, then your possible customers will only compare you against your competitors based on price. And that is the last thing you want. How do you start positioning yourself? What do you have to do? Number one, first, you need to take stock of where you are in the marketplace. How are you perceived in the market right now? How, do, what do people think of you? So here's a list of questions that you can ask yourself that will help you determine where you are in the marketplace right now. What do people think of you? Number one, are you on the side of being affordable and less expensive? Or are you on the expensive side, fancy, elegant, and people are thinking, oh, you're more high end. Number two, are you super experienced or are you a newbie? Are you brand new at what you're doing? Because you can do either. You can make money doing both. Number three, do you have any formal education or did you teach yourself? Were you self-taught as you went through the process? What certifications do you have? And the certifications might not be anything that anybody, any official ones that anyone gave you. You might have certifications because you've helped X number of people get over their addiction or whatever it is that you are selling. Number four, how many ways are available for people to work with you or to buy your product? Is it an info product? Are there different levels? Can they, are there physical products? If the physical products, is it an ascending thing? Is it consumable? What exactly is the situation with that? And number five, how are your clients or customers talking about you? How, what do they say? What is the, what is the chat back and forth about you and about what you're doing? What's the feedback that they give you? Are you asking for their feedback? Now, that's number one. Number two, how do you want to be perceived in the market by other businesses? The last one helped you determine how are you perceived now? How do you want to be perceived? How, the bottom line is wherever you are currently perceived in the marketplace, you can decide to do whatever you want. You can pivot, you can shift. So think about what you want. How do you want to be perceived in the marketplace? Pick a few brands, pick three to maybe six brands that are other businesses that you really like. You like the way they look, you like the way they position themselves, you admire them, you aspire to be like them, or you would be thrilled. You would be so excited if somebody said your brand was like theirs, if they compared you to them. Because brands also need a positioning in the marketplace, just like you as the attractive character, if that's who you are in your business. Go ahead and answer the following questions because this will help you determine where you want to be perceived in the marketplace. Who do you want to be? What do you want people to think of you? Number one, what makes up their positioning, these businesses that you've chosen that you like? What on their online presence, what is that like? What does it look like? What kinds of retreats, what kinds of events, what kinds of contests or programs or products do they have? What do they include in their events, in their products or their programs? What are the things that you love about it? What are the things that click with you, that you resonate with, that kind of touch your soul or touch your heart and they, it resonates with your mind? Number five, how much do they charge? What are their prices? Are they at the high end? Or are they at the low end? Number six, what are five traits, personality traits that you could use to describe those brands, the ones that you look up to, 
the ones that you would be proud to be considered to be like. Number seven, how do you feel about yourself when you are experiencing those brands? Think about what it does to you. Do you feel like you look better in that brand of clothing? It makes you look skinnier. Do you feel like when you use that makeup, it makes your skin look better? Do you feel like when you think about that dentist, you, you absolutely trust them and you feel like you can absolutely trust whatever they tell you the work that needs to be done? What are the things that you think about and how do you feel when you associate with them? Number eight, what about their logo? What about their, the things that they put out there, their website? What do you remember about it? What do, what do you feel about the experience that you had with them? Are there any elements of their branding or their design or the look or the colors? What are the things that you loved? What are the things that appealed to you? And be really specific as you go through this. What are some of like the layout? What fonts did they use? What are some of the catchphrases they use? What about the photography? What about the B-roll they use in their videos? That is number two. And number three, now it's time to look for patterns. As you go through these questions, notice the patterns that you find. Oh, wow, all of these brands that I liked, they all kind of had dark colors or they had a lot of black or their websites were all very simple and clean. Maybe they all had multiple streams of revenue. Maybe they had different price points in the different companies. So you kind of have to narrow it down with something else. There are so many ways that you can look at the patterns and that allow you to have something to work with. Maybe they have a range of services. Maybe they have do it yourself. Maybe their, their copy in their funnels is really sassy. Maybe they are really funny. Maybe they take you from crying to laughing all in the same sales funnel. What is, look at every single piece of what they do. What do their, the pictures on their site look like? Do they have different, like the people that they use in their pictures? Are they from different cultures and different countries around the world? What does all of that look like? And by the end of doing this exercise, you will have a really good framework for deciding what you want your positioning to be. You'll know how to talk about the things that you want to offer. You'll be able to talk about your services or your, the way that you want to serve your customers. You'll be able to talk about the products that you sell. And even you'll have visual references. You'll have font. You'll have color. All the things that you love that you want to be a part of how you are going to position yourself. Now, some of these things definitely interlace with your branding, but for your, your positioning and look at these three steps, answer the questions, and you'll be able to get to get really, really clear on identifying your positioning. So get that figured out because that is how your brand will be known. It is how people will think of you. It's how they will refer to you. It is what will determine the customer segments that are attracted to you. Take it seriously and do this exercise and let me know in the comments. I want to hear what you figured out. What are the things you noticed? What aha moments did you have because of what I just taught you in this training? I want to hear your feedback. I want to hear what you're doing in your business. Let me know and I'll connect with you there.